Sup movie fans and ha welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment. Oh, just finished The Flash Season 3, Episode 2, Paradox. Well, once again, Barry has proven that, you know, him going back in time and having all these speed powers is not quite working, working very well for him, is it? Well, unfortunately, no, because every time he goes back in time, something happens. Well, like I said, before I begin, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the episode yet, because honestly, there's a lot of cover here, but I want to talk about the basics. Okay, first of all, we now know that Barry went back in time from what happened in the Flashpoint. He went back in time because obviously he had to because he was starting to lose all his memories of his previous life now that he brought back his mother. But he had to go back in time again and stop himself from stopping the reverse flash from killing his mother, mother so that way he can have the reverse flash kill his mother again so he can try to get back everything. And now he looks like he's back to where he was at the beginning before he left and it's not very w working out very well for him. We have Joe and Iris not talking to each other. We have Cisco very, very heartbroken and angry at Barry. We have a new character in the show, which is Tom Bilton, I believe, from Harry Potter. If you guys remember him, Draco Malfoy. He's in this episode. I'll get into him really quick in a minute. And then, of course, we have the rival once again back and a new villain, Archimede, who sounds like he should be in in a Star Wars show or movie because honestly the way he looks and he's just all in black and he's got these weird looking masks like a gas mask on it looks like a Star Wars character but anyway I thought the episode was pretty cool um, what I really liked about it was that it looks to me oh and by the way Felicity was in this episode too and yeah that the, the moments with her was funny so it looks like this episode has brought back where it all began before he started messing with the timeline, so everything should be good to go, except certain little details here and there are not like not doing well. Unfortunately, like I said, you do have Arius and Joe are not talking to each other. Um, Cisco is angry at Barry because his brother, Dante, was killed in a car accident, or he was hit by a car, and you know he wanted him to go back in time and save him. And that didn't even work out for him very well, and he's still angry with him. And Caitlyn, so far, so good. She's okay. She's normal, whatever. I'll get to her in, at the end of this video. But what, like I said, what I like I said, what I like about this episode, the humor was in it, obviously, because there were some moments that was kind of funny between Barry and Felicity in the beginning. So that was kind of funny. And um, the action was pretty cool. The, the effects gets better and better every time I see the show. I mean, obviously, it's not like Batman v Superman level quality or, you know, maybe Wonder Woman quality. But, like I said, CW does a pretty good job to get their budget and where they want for the television, you know, effects. But pretty well done. So, I like that a lot. Um, there are things in this episode I didn't really like because... Honestly, it's starting to get to a point where like this, this timeline is starting to confuse everybody here. So if you don't understand what's going on, you're like, huh? And then you can understand why it's so confusing. First of all, this whole episode, you know, we find out why, you know, Iris is not talking to Joe. Apparently, Joe didn't tell her about her mother being alive. I mean, obviously, yeah, you'll get mad about that, finding out your mother's still alive. But, I mean, come on, it could have been something more serious in this one. I mean, I like the one. I like the one. Cisco hated Barry because, you know, he didn't save or go back in time to save his brother, and he was really heartbroken about losing his brother. That's more of a reasonable understanding of what you know messed up the timeline for. This was just, eh, whatever. Who cares? Didn't really care for that one at all. I mean, no, there was no point. I mean, um, you had um. The bad guy, once again, I don't know, there's no rival character. He was just kind of boring. I don't know, the speed was cool, but it was just, it wasn't really, he sounded like a damn Saturday morning cartoon villain. It was just weird. The way that he would talk to the Flash and his banters, comebacks and, you know, whatever. It was just weird. I didn't like that at all, but whatever. He's locked up in jail now, so good riddance. So, like I said, and now it looks like this will be the actual timeline. Now we we'll move forward, so whatever happens in Supergirl, Arrow will be because of this timeline. So I don't know what's really gonna happen in in 
Oliver's world. Are they even gonna address this whole situation? Because honestly, there are moments in here where like, does it really affect Arrow or does it? Because honestly, we don't know. Because in this one, the only thing that was really messed up about the Arrow universe was that Diggle, instead of having a daughter, he had a son. It was, I don't know how they can affect, I don't, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen there, but let's see what happens. And of course, the ending, big reveal, not really the main ending, but near the ending, Caitlyn is basically Killer Frost. I mean, I kind of see, I saw that coming. I kind of figured something was going to happen with her because honestly, they didn't really mention her a lot in the beginning of the episode or any problems she had. They kept it quiet. And it was just very strange. But like I said, I liked the episode for what it was. It had a lot of cool action scenes. Like the story plot with it was okay, I guess. But let's see how it goes continue. So far, it's okay. But like I said, I'm still going to keep watching The Flash. I cannot wait for that ultimate crossover between Arrow, Legends, which starts off Thursday. Cannot wait. Get ready for that review. And don't worry, I'm doing my Supergirl review tomorrow. I mean today. Or tonight. Tomorrow. Whatever. But yeah, I did it. So if I had to guess, you know, grade this episode, 7%. I'll give it a 7%. It, it was fine for what it was. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more. So stay tuned. For next week's episode, let me know what you guys think about this episode, The Paradox. It was just weird. But I still enjoyed it for what it was. Like I said, problems, but yeah, go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you and have a good day.